headed right now to Lotary. Lotary. <laughs> Why are we going there to do some shopping? Fish, veggies. Weather is super pleasant. The sun's out. There's a cool air blowing. It's going to be fun. We'll stop a hundred times for photos because, of course, we will. Okay, let's go. Totally now we came here doing a little bit of grocery shopping and all and I've shown you guys the church here many times uh, it's right out there and we are in the cemetery right now the graveyard my grandfather was buried here 12 years ago paternal grandfather. my paternal grandfather we did come here that time I just I don't remember it so it's small so, 12 years ago I wasn't that small yeah, you were in school yeah uh, it's a very beautiful place, very peaceful. A lot of the cemetery is still very old. There are family graves, so the graves that are more grand and decorated with big statues, those are owned by families. But and there is limited space, so you can't buy grave spots anymore. So the graves that like people die now, those are more humble looking. And all of the old family graves have proper Portuguese inscriptions, which I can read a little bit of now. Everybody had like four names. <laughs> to make friends with the cat but he does not want to be my friend come here come here please come here stall opposite the church that makes some food and they make the absolute best beef samosas that we've tasted in Goa wouldn't you agree ma'am <laughs> a mouthful with samosa it's really worth walking there so good did you see them see her making them she was making them that then had plans that in the evening we'll take a little walk we'll go on the hill behind the church near the cemetery not the same church and cemetery that I showed you guys in the daytime but the one that's closer to our house here and I thought I'll take the drone up and all of that but lunch ran kind of late and after that 
uh, we just decided to take a nap and after that we woke up it was already a little too late but we've done a good amount of work and errands in the house today not vlog worthy stuff but stuff that leaves you with a sense of accomplishment after the day <laughs> is finished so now i am sitting with my cup of chai and i'm also having some mari biscuits which is the best for tea time there are two types of people some people like to dip these mari biscuits in your tea and have them but i definitely like eating them plain there's actually this um, sort of portuguese kind of dessert that you can make and it requires mari biscuits in the recipe so i remember a few months ago i was um, on blogs reading the recipe of these biscuits and one of the persons who had written on their blog they were an american person so instead of writing mari biscuits they wrote maria cookies which is not so far from the original right because mari and maria are pretty much the same name and cookies and biscuits can be used interchangeably but now when i think of mari biscuits as maria cookies i always feel like laughing <laughs> the sun has pretty much set it's gotten kind of dark and just as i was speaking to you guys the street lights have gone on on the road so you know it's dark this is the time of the day when a lot more mosquitoes are going to be out and there are also various insects so i'm going to finish my tea my biscuits and step back inside We went to the fish market earlier this morning, and we bought squids among other things. And we've had squid chili fry for lunch and for dinner. Really, really tasty with rice and coconut juice curry. And we'll also be having shandy, which is beer diluted with Seven Up or Sprite usually.